Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Michael Crawley, and you're listening to the OSHA Oops Podcast, brought to you by God Safety. Hey, 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 welcome back. This is Michael and Rick with OSHA Oops. We've got a tough one today. This one will not be ending with such a happy ending, but this is a vitally important piece to the process that we're talking. Let me just put it and frame it in your mind. What we're talking about is order pickers. Reach vehicles, they're like a forklift, but what they really are meant to do is raise a man high in the air or a person in the air where they can grab products and pieces and then go down and move to the next. And they really call them cherry pickers, not cherry pickers, order pickers and stuff like that that. Rick, read the citation and tell us about the code so we can see the framework a little bit better of what we're talking about. Sure. We're talking here about Title 8 CCR 3656, order pickers and stock pickers, Yep. where a clearance restriction or the nature of the work prohibits the use of standard guardrails and the employee is exposed to a fall of four feet or more, a personal fall arrest system fall restraint system or positioning device shall be used. Right. So what we're saying is if they're going to get on one of these order pickers, stock pickers, and they're going to be going up and it's going to raise more than four feet off the ground or have the potential to raise more than four feet off the ground, they got to have a a personal fall harness on. Does that make sense? Four feet, you got to have the fall harness on. If there's no guardrails. If there's no guardrails on an order picker or the guardrails can't be used because they're prohibited by getting to the product on the shelves, they've got to use this fall protection system. Rick, how did they tie this to the company? So, prior to and during the course of the inspection, including to but not limited to... chuba duba duba The employer failed to ensure that a personal fall arrest, a personal restraint system, or positioning device was used to prevent employees from being exposed to a fall of four feet or more, and as a result, an employee suffered a fatal injury. This really is a tough one. Just so for you guys wondering what we say when we say shubaduba, these are some dates with the citation that we don't like to use, so just in fairness, we always just say shubaduba. Trust me, it's a weird thing inside. But what I'm saying to you is this. This is a tough one because an employee actually died because of this because they weren't using a fall protection. And and that really is the key to it. Some of these guardrails with these order and order pickers can be pulled off and maneuvered. And you really got to do inspections on these to make sure your guys are not taking that off. Rick, what did the company get cited for on this band of it? This was a obviously accident related yep. serious violation, $18,000. $18,000. And really, we're not, the money isn't what's important on this conversation. It's the fact that we lost loss of life and just trying to pick the orders for something so we can do business. I, I, I'm sure the company is horrified by this. Nobody really wants this event to take place. And, and, and some of you may not re- believe it, but man, we do our dangness and companies do their dangness to make sure these kinds of events don't take place but accidents do happen unfortunately and this is a good one reminding us that when we're on these order pickers you need to have your either your fall protection cage or your system your railings or you got to be tied off in some fashion because if not humans don't bounce well and you're losing your family your family loses you raising your children and everything and let me tell you we we, we are two guys that have a lot of kids i got four kids rick's got eight he's doubled me and so the reality is as you look at this you have a lot of responsibility in life that you got to live with sorry this one isn't too funny but i'm saying this you cannot forget to be able to wear your personal fall protection systems in place, especially when there's no railings. Hey, thanks for listening to this one. This one was a tough conversation today. And uh, if you ever have questions about fall protection or order pickers or what you should do or want to make sure you're just doing the right thing, give us a call over at Got Safety. This is Mike and Rick saying we'll see you on the next one. To learn more about safety services we provide, head over to GotSafety.com and check us out. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. And remember, stay safe out there.